What's up, guys? It's your boy D. Smith. Welcome to D. Smith. Let's discuss. Man, so on the screen, you can see the fatal shootings in Memphis. Real people, not just statistics or stats. And you can see the number of people that have passed away to gun violence. Now, first, we have Dolph, right? Everybody know he got shot November 17th. That's crazy. I can remember the date when I heard the news he got shot, right? But not, not only Dolph, we see a number of other individuals that may have been gunned down due to the shooting of Young Dolph. For that, that whole circumstance, right? We have Jason Hill. I'm going to get to that in a minute. And we have Darian D. Money Childs. Right. So let's, uh, let me click on it and see. So Dolph, age 36, lost to gun violence on November 17th, 2021 in Memphis. Right. And you can see all of the uh, photo sources, BBC News. Uh, Let's see what this source magazine. So you can see all the different uh, sources and where the information came from. Visitors came to his profile and uh, nicknamed Dolph Young Dolph, Paper Route Frank, uh, the Goat, the Real Pre. True King of Memphis, Big Flipper, Main Main, my favorite rapper, Young Dog. So fans can come to this page and you can hit this this like button right here. Not like button. Why the fuck I say like button, but light a candle for Dolph. Right? So I just lit a candle for uh Dolph. R.I.P. Dolph. Uh number of children. Two. He also had a beautiful black queen. Uh, personality, almost like a father to the streets, taught valuable lessons through his music, uh, Big Goat, he's proud to be black, he uh, loves his kids. So a lot of people have been coming to this website right here, the National Gun Violence Memorial uh, website, and just been paying their, uh, their love, paying their respects, love, shout out to uh, Young Dolph. Uh, schools he attended, uh, Hamilton High School, comments, rest in peace, you motivated all of us, dang Dolph, I'm sorry they did that to you, prayers, rest easy, so you can see the different, uh, pictures and images out here for, uh, for young dog. Can't believe they took you away. Rest in paradise. So he's been getting a lot of love. A lot of love. Uh, out here. So a lot, a lot of love out here, right? But then you can see in Memphis, Tennessee, all the other shootings that have uh, taken place since November 17th. All of them may not be related to the Young Dolph uh, shooting. Let me uh, say that. You had November 19th, November 20th, and November 23rd. So I'm going to go over those uh, depths also because they've been in the news also. So, November 23rd, no, let me start right here. So, November, November 19th, Benicia Corvette Taylor. Been trying to find an image of this young lady. Could not find an image. But according to sources, woman did after argument with boyfriend.
That is crazy. Arguing with your guy. So Memphis police said they arrested a man after a woman was killed Friday in Northeast Memphis when a lover's quarrel turned deadly. Taylor said that Derek McDaniel and his girlfriend were arguing in the apartment when it turned to a physical altercation. And of course, he did some whole shit. R.I.P. Miss Taylor. So now we have Jason Hill. The Oak Creek Mall shooting. He had his baby in his arm, man. Had his baby in his arm. Let me light a candle for you, brother. Rest easy. So this is Jason Hill. So this is the image that police have put out there of the young lady that may have him may been involved with the shooting. This young lady right here. So yeah, J man, Jason Hill, 21 years old. 21 years old. Now we also know about Darian Child, D Money. So according to the uh, streets in Memphis, this guy made some inappropriate posts on Twitter, Facebook, uh, making fun of Young Dolph, and they end up uh, killing him. Who knows if it was that or some other stuff he may have been involved with. You just uh, never know, but RIP, let me light a candle for you, brother. So man, yeah, it's, it's just crazy out in these Memphis streets. But I wanna show you something else, guys. So fading shooters in Memphis, Tennessee. These are all the people that have been gunned down do the gun violence in Memphis. These three we know about. Well, I know about, let me say that. Dolph, Jason Hill, and Mr. Child, because I've been following this story real, real tough. These other individuals. You don't know what were their circumstance, unless you go deep in, into it, right? So we have Ayla, Ayla Bassett. Oh, this is a sad story right here. Father charged with homicide after mistaking eight-year-old daughter for an intruder. Damn. So a child is dead and her father is behind bars after thinking she was an intruder in the home. According to the affidavit, William Oliver told police he was checking the home for intruders after the child mother said she heard a noise. When he went to check the bedroom closet, he slid the door back where he saw a silhouette and fired the gun. Damn, the figure was discovered to be his eight-year-old daughter. That is crazy, man. Let me light a candle for you, young lady. Rest, rest easy, man. So the gun violence, man, the, the story is gonna be different. But in the end, all the individuals you see, has passed away 
due to uh, gun violence in Memphis, Tennessee. Look at all these faces, man. Look at all these faces. Look at all these faces. It, it, it's crazy, man. Most of these, most of these people I'm seeing right now are African American men. Think about that, African American man. That shit is wild. So fatal shootings in Memphis, Tennessee, man. It, it's, it's it's real out here. <laughs> 